What's up guys, Gabriel Varga here. Today we're gonna to be working on our footwork. We're gonna be looking in depth on different moves you can use as a beginner to intermediate. And we're gonna do this follow along style. So we'll actually be drilling together, making sure that you get to do the same motion over and over and really get that repetition in. Plus get a little bit of a workout because bouncing back and forth and getting lots of footwork drills going is definitely gonna get your heart rate up at least a little bit. And guys, this is gonna be part one. Tomorrow we will have part two, which will be the advanced version for those practitioners out there who have more skills or for people who just want to challenge themselves a little bit more. So intro first guys, and then we'll get to the first episode of follow along footwork tutorial. All right, footwork is so important but often neglected. I mean, the first thing we do when we go into a gym is we learn the stance, and then very often we learn the striking, and we learn the kicks, and we learn the defense, but it's not too often in my experience where I see gyms actually teaching how to move forward, how to angle off, how to take half steps and full steps, and really breaking down how you should be able to use this to your advantage to number one, create the distance you want, but number two, make it very difficult for your opponent to be able to actually land a clean strike on you. So that's what we're gonna be practicing today. Now remember, this is only part one. Part two is coming tomorrow. If you guys wanna be sure not to miss it, please make sure you join the channel and get subscribed. And of course, give the video a like right now if you have a moment. Now let's move on to full explosive motions moving forward. We're gonna go from our fighting stance. We're gonna start stationary because like I said, this is the beginner episode. So stationary for me, what you wanna do when you're getting ready to explode forward is you wanna make sure your weight and your back foot is in the right position. If I go like this, moving forward is not gonna be very dynamic. So I elevate my heel on the back foot. This is gonna give me that ability to push in and then exit. All I want at the moment is us thinking, extend the front foot, back foot will follow, we're gonna do that very quickly. And then slowly, we're gonna go back foot first, and then front foot follows. So we're gonna do 10 of these together. We're gonna to explode forward, and then step back gently. On my count. One, two, three. And we're trying to make sure our head level does not switch. Four, what I mean by that is I don't jump like a bunny rabbit. Five. Knees stay bent. Six, seven. Being very aware that your stance, whatever stance you're starting, you finish in that exact same stance. Don't let the width of the stance extend or the length of the stance extend or shrink. Exact same stance when you come down. Eight, nine, and 10. Good, now that's a beginner level drill because we are very simply recreating the exact same stance and we're not even being very dynamic on our exit there, that's just more on the entry. What you can do if you have lots of space and you're looking to do this drill a little bit more aggressively moving forward, you just push forward, push forward, push forward and you just keep going. Then you can turn around and come back, just exploding forward and when you're ready, you can add that jab so that each time you move forward, you have an offensive technique. Now from here, I wanna practice the opposite. We're going to go explode backwards and then a slow step forward. Explode backwards, slow step forward. Again, maintaining our height so we're not jumping in the air, landing in the exact same stance. And on this one, we're gonna put more weight on the front foot so we can shoot backwards off that back leg and then come to our normal stance nice and strong. All right, 10 times. Backing it up, and one, and then slow forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we've covered a forwards motion and a backwards motion, 
but now we have to address the sideways ones. Now this can get very complicated. There's many things that we can do to make this more advanced, but for the sake of keeping it beginner intermediate level, all we're going to do right now is move our foot completely out to the side. If I'm moving left, my left foot goes first, my right foot follows because I always want to return to the same stance. Then from there, I'm gonna push up right foot moves and left foot follows. And we're just going to move from side to side, always extending our stance and shrinking it. We do not want to shrink our stance because now if I get caught in this position, somebody attacks me, I'm gonna be very off balance and it's gonna be very difficult to defend myself correctly. Extend your stance and shrink it to the left, quick pause, and then back to the right. And one, again, keeping our head low. Two, not jumping up and down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now from here, because we have the sideways motions down the forwards and the back, we can very simply go to our stance and I'm gonna call forward, backward, left, right, right, left, backward, and you're just gonna follow along with me and throw that direct motion and do a two steps, but one fast movement, whichever way you hear me call. Try to be explosive, maintain head level fairly low, and keep those hands up as you move. We don't want our hands to drop as we move any direction. All right, set yourselves up, and forward, backward, forward, backward, left, right, right, left, backward, forward, backward, left, right, right, left, left, forward, backward, forward, right, back, forward, left, back, right, right, left, forward, backward. Good, now, the reason that is still beginner level, even though we're taking lots of angles, is we're taking that pause. We're not stringing anything together yet. And what we really need to be able to do is not move forward and pause for a substantial amount of time and then exit. We need to be able to move in and out, or left and forward, or backwards and right. When we string multiple movements together, it becomes very difficult to number one, tag me or, or track me. Uh, for example, if I move in and I stop and I throw a few shots and I stay there for too long and I get countered, that's kind of on me because I didn't exit quickly. It should be one, two, three, or straight in, straight out, straight in, straight out. But if somebody moves to me, they advance and I go, okay, I want to back up. That's easy to follow me. But if I go back up and angle, now it becomes much more difficult because as they start moving forward, they have to track you on an angle. So we're gonna take the drills we've been doing and up them to an intermediate level, combine two movements together. The first one I wanna start with is gonna be moving backwards and then quickly off to the right. And then we'll just reset by taking sort of a 45 degree angle back to our initial spot, backward and to the right, reset and wait for the next count. All right, ready, hands are up. One count for two motions, backwards, right. And one, and then reset. Two, reset. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now a couple things to note there. You guys may have noticed me. I start square and then I finish not with my hands facing here, but just a slight angle. Obviously that's to adjust for the fact that he was over there. I took the angle out. If he decides to keep tracking me too aggressively straight, I wanna be able to throw a counter shot and catch him on the weird angle, as opposed to me just going here and here and then facing over this way. Just a tiny turn of the body. If you were doing that naturally, good for you. Now we have two more drills I wanna try here where we're gonna double up. 
Our first one is going to be very similar to what we did at the beginning where we pushed forward quickly and then we went backwards slowly, except now we are doubling up on the forwards motion. We are going to push once, push twice, because sometimes they back up as soon as they see us move. And they back up, but then I move again and I'm able to land on the second shot. So we do two forward very quickly, push, push, and then just maybe a big step back, maybe two steps back, but those are done slow. The, all the intention, all the correct movement is on the first two pushes. Extend the stance, shrink it, extend it, shrink it, and avoid kind of galloping. We don't kind of want to go like that with our head going up and down. I stay low like I already mentioned. Push forward, push forward. All right, one count, two movements forward, and then back out to where you started. Ready, one, two, three, Four, five, all the way to 10 counts. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Now obviously you can do the exact reverse of that and work a quick double back, but that is fairly simple. I want to keep this a more intermediate now and I want to work forward and then out fast. We did this at the beginning, but more with the intention on the first movement forward and then just slow backwards. Now we want to imagine that I move in, I hit the Cobra bag and then I'm out as quick as I went in. That's the important part. It's kind of like throwing a punch. Don't think, I'm gonna throw my hand out at 100 miles per hour and then I'll pull it back just relaxed and slow. However fast it goes out, it needs to come back just as fast, if not quicker. Same thing right now, I move in, and then I don't wanna be sluggish, I wanna exit really fast. So I surprise this guy with the speed of my entry, but then by the time he goes to throw his shot and I've already exited, he's going, oh, what happened? So hands are up in one motion, forward, back. That's it. If you guys are more intermediate and you want to add the punch, feel free to. But I prefer, even if you are an intermediate advanced person, to put all the intention on the stance being perfect. That's what a lot of people don't really do. They neglect really breaking down the basics and making them perfect. So if you, you know, 100% know everything's on point, sure, add the punch. But even for myself, I'm just going to work just the legs, forward and back. We're really making sure that this is pristine and on point as possible. And ready, forward, back, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can see that when I land, it's for a split second. Now somebody who's fantastic at this method of footwork is Manny Pacquiao, recently retired uh, to become, or trying to become a president, amazing. But anyway, he moves in, and if he sees this guy ready to defend or throw anything, he's out. But he'll do this multiple times. He'll go one, and he's always adjusting that stance, maintaining the ideal length and width the whole time through. Now we can't all be Manny Pacquiao in terms of footwork, but we can definitely work moving forward and back super quick. And this is the same thing that will come in eventually footwork wise with feints. We end up fainting by not moving the full distance, but maybe half distance. So instead of going all the way here, we just go halfway and we just get a little bit of a stutter to throw off our opponent and get them to react. So for the last part of our footwork video for beginner intermediate level, we are very simply going to recreate the motion we did before where we went forward, backward, left, right. But every time we land, we're gonna let a jab cross go. And this is very simply going to allow us to stick with the basics, but add the upper body, add the offense or defense if you're backing up and make sure that we're maintaining the stance. We can think of our offense and defense through our hands, but at the same time, we're focused on our footwork. So a very quick 
uh, demonstration here. If I say forward, move in, backward, move out, right, left. That's a very slow demonstration there. We will pick it up a little bit more. The more comfortable you feel, the quicker you go on your movement. But I will give everybody time if you want to move at that pace. All right, forward, backward, left, right, with a jab cross behind it, hands stay up, head level stays down, don't spring, and ready. Forward, backward, forward, right, backward, left, forward, backward, right, left, right, forward, left, backward, right, left, forward, backward, and let's time it there guys. What we accomplished today was a basic understanding of beginner intermediate footwork. Now, as promised, tomorrow we are gonna have the intermediate advanced footwork, which will become much more difficult, much more challenging, and hopefully throw in some things that are brand new to you, so you're not only practicing, but learning as well. To be sure you don't miss that episode, make sure you get subscribed, hit the little bell notification. Guys, if you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like. Train hard, guys, I'll see you back here soon for another video.